Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be giving you my thoughts and giving you a rough buyer's guide, mostly pertaining to the new CPUs that have come out in 2017. Uh, AMD and Intel are kind of competing again, and I can't remember the last time they were competing, uh, which is good, you know, competition is good for the consumer, etc, etc. So uh, we're going to be, yeah, looking at them. So this was brought to my attention on EDM production, the subreddit on Reddit. It was announcing uh, the new Risen CPUs and the speed that they have uh, in terms of clock speed. So this is Newegg or whatever. So you'll notice that there's when they kind of list uh, CPUs or processors, you have a gigahertz, 3.4 gigahertz, uh, 3.6 gigahertz. This is the clock speed. And this in and of itself doesn't really mean anything. It's just how fast the clock is. What matters is the amount of things it does per clock tick that makes a big difference, right? So you can imagine, you know, if if AMD or if Intel does, if, if they have an AMD CPU and an, Intel, and an Intel CPU, and they're both at three gigahertz, and Intel does two instructions per clock, and AMD does one, you know, the Intel outperforms it. And this is what, this is kind of what happened with uh, Bulldozer, uh, AMD's previous line, I believe, that underperformed, it was kind of overhyped, uh, and it underperformed the, the uh, next to the Intel CPUs. So there's three here, and uh, what you kind of do is, you know, it, it depends on what you already have. So I'm going to be comparing the uh, CPUs the, the new Intel, uh, new AMD CPUs to what I have, and that's a uh, 5960X at uh, 3 gigahertz, right? So keep in mind that I am running at 3 gigahertz. Okay. So I'm going to open up something called Cinebench, and I'm going to do uh, a comparison. And I'm going to say, okay, so we're comparing the 5960X to the 1800X. This has uh, 8 core, 16 threads. It runs at 3.6 gigahertz, and uh, same here, except this runs at 3 gigahertz. So a lower clock speed, but the effective speed is only a difference of 2%. So keep in mind, keep that in mind. It's exceptionally important that clock speed doesn't always win. But we're looking at this, you know, for if you were wanting to upgrade, not everyone has a 5960X. I had to special order that thing, and it took a week. Crazy. Anyway. So here's how you kind of read these uh, benchmarks and you compare. So one of the most important specifications is price. Always important. So this is $1,500 compared to $700. Risen is half the price, and it has 2% better performance. So right there, you know, if I waited, you know, a little while, I could have gotten this and would have had the same performance. But uh, yeah, so that's one thing to take into account. What you want to look at is the SC mix, the single core mixed, right? This is single core performance. The thing about Ableton is each track, the effect, runs in its own core. So if, you know, if you have fast or like more instructions or like, you know, if you have better single core performance, it it works out to having better performance in your DAW. That's just how it works. Um, Multi-core uh, performance doesn't really matter in uh, audio production kind of programs. Um, it matters quite a bit in, you know, Blender or um, Cinebench or, um, I'm drawing a blank here, which happens quite a bit, uh, Premiere Pro, uh, video encoding systems. Um, usually, you know, yeah, so you'll look at this, the single core mix, and this is this is where architecture uh, really is important. So it's all about the uh, the cache as well. Cache is like super fast memory attached to the the CPU, so it doesn't have to keep on reading to memory. It stores the instructions in the cache, which makes it in turn a little bit faster. So single core mixed. The 5960X is 7% slower. But uh, 
quad core mix speed, it is slightly faster. So how does that work out? That's because the cache and there's a million different things in these uh, processors. That's a very, um, that's very, you know, like thousands of engineers come together to build these things. It's really complex. Um, the 5960X better overclocking. That's, you know, whatever. And price, obviously, an important factor. The 5960X is 31 months old. So there you go. It, it operates at a higher wattage. Same cores, same threads. Different uh, lithography, the 22 nanometer process versus the 14 nanometer process. Doesn't really matter, but that might be why uh, AMD is pushing um, faster speeds, depending on what's going on. So yeah, this this tells you the, a basic rundown of what you're comparing. So that's the the seven hundred and ten dollar one. This is the uh, four hundred fifty dollar one. Still eight cores, still sixteen threads, but at a lower price point. The fifty nine sixty X is five percent faster, which you know. They're both operating at 3 gigahertz. They both have the same amount of cores, same amount of threads, but Intel uh, can do more per clock. So, and it has 8% more effective speed, right? And you can compare it to the 1700X, which is a little bit more expensive, and the difference is a difference of 3%. So, yeah, it's 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 kind of exciting to have uh, AMD and Intel going head to head again. It's uh, you know there's there's competition in the workstation processor uh, market, which brings down prices. And uh, yeah, Intel is gonna have to come out with an answer. Um, so when I heard when I heard AMD saying we're gonna disrupt the processor industry, I crossed my arms and said, oh really? But it seems like they, they really have. Um, but this is just a, a comparison, an apples to apples comparison of my current CPU to the new ones. Not worth upgrading, but if I had, you know, something a year or two older, um, maybe like, what did I have the last time? I don't even know what I had last time. An i An i7 something. I would uh, definitely upgrade. You have to take into account that you need to buy a new motherboard and get some ddr4 memory if you don't already have it but uh yeah uh workstation pc at a budget or more of a budget a third of the price for basically the same performance and uh yeah so the main thing to take away if you've gotten to the end of this video is uh clock speed doesn't matter much 3.4 versus 3.0 the difference of three percent that doesn't work out mathematically um, similar single processor uh, performance. It's all good. Anyway, hope you learned stuff. Take care and uh, have a good one.